I wanted to pull one of the rarest cards in the new Naruto Caillou set, and it took me 450 packs to do it. Hey everybody, you heard right, we're opening 15 boxes. 15 boxes from the official Naruto Caillou card set. I've done some unboxings for these cards in the past and I wasn't sure if they were fake, bootleg, fan made, or what they were. I've done a lot of research. I'm here to tell you that they are official licensed products. The only reason why you're not seeing them in the United States is because they're only licensed in China. So you have to buy them from resellers and import them to your country. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can grab some if you're interested. And without delay, 450 packs, here we go. With the Caillou sets, there are four different tiers that exist with their boxes, and this is a tier two box. And you might ask, what do the tiers actually mean? Well, it's pretty much the chances to pull rare cards within the pack. So in these boxes, you have a chance to pull about three to five different really rare cards that exist out of 30 packs. The gold sticker on the front is the Naruto license owner, Pirio. And then there's a Caillou sticker on the right and also their logo on that top left section. We'll take a little 360 around the box real quick as well, see what's on the sides. Let's go ahead and crack this open and make it look like what you would see in a store. Few minutes later. There we go. I imagine walking into a collectible store and just seeing a bunch of these opened up for people to buy. So we have 15 packs on the left, 15 packs on the right, and there they are. For anyone wondering, here are the sleeves that I use and any other materials or resources I use can be found in my BAM collectible Amazon store link again in the description. There are five cards in each pack and I will be opening two packs at a time simultaneously. And it looks like these first two are gonna be dud packs, which are pretty much packs that have four rare cards and one SR. And there it is, just like, you know, some other TCGs or CCGs that exist out there. There are packs that don't really net you too much excitement overall. That's what you're really looking at for these tier two boxes. Again, the hit rate is probably around a 15 to 20% chance to land. So, oh, oh, there you go, to land our first card. So we have a UR Hinata. As you can tell immediately, these type of cards do look so much different than the regular ones that we've seen so far. I'm gonna stick her in the back and we'll sleeve her up in just a moment. Initially, I try to stick them in these penny sleeves and eventually we'll move them over to some matte black dragon shield protectors. The rarity that exists below UR is probably going to be the SSR cards. Oh, there, there we go. Speaking of them, these are some of the cards you can pull also in the packs. They're a little bit more exciting than just your standard SR cards. Which I gotta say, Caillou does make some pretty awesome looking SSR cards that look much more worthy of that label. I'm not sure if we'll pull it today, but one of my favorite SSRs is the Sasuke with the armor Susano behind him. I hope we do pull it, but that's probably my favorite one they've created to date. There's a nice, awesome one. If anybody's wondering at all too, why, why did I open up 450 packs? Well, there's two reasons. One is for science. I want people to kind of understand what's in these packs, what you could potentially pull. The other reason was I was pretty stubborn about wanting to open one of the rarest cards in this specific set called the CR cards. Oh, hey, we have an AR card. This is one of my favorite styles of cards that you can pull in the box. There's usually about one pack per box that you can pull an AR card. I think there's six in total for this set. One being Gara, Naruto, Sasuke, and the three signing. So one signing down. I've seen the Naruto and Sasuke cards as well for these. I do hope I pull those too. Those are really good looking for the AR card series. Like I said, the other reason other than science is going to be because I'm searching for one of the rarest cards in this set called a CR card. And it actually took me a lot of boxes to get through. And it happened on the very last 15th box that we'll see in this video. And there we have it, our third hit with UR Minato. I have no idea why those keep being upside down, but with these cards, the URs, they're most times in a profile position or stance, and then later we'll see some cards called OR cards, and those are going to be much more dynamic, a lot of action going on in the card itself. Very cool though, because all these are brand new for me. I don't have any from this series that I can recall. So great for filling out my binders roster, and hopefully we'll have a few extra as well. Maybe we can even use for a giveaway for this video if you're interested. If there are any duplicates, which there definitely probably will be by the end of this video, just let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite card seen today, and I'll select uh, maybe two to three different comments and mail you which card you like most.
Stay tuned though through the video as we ramp things up. I just wanted to open up one box in front of you so you could see how it all looks, but we're gonna be rapidly busting open boxes, seeing what the pulls are from each of those and doing it in a side-by-style fashion, almost like a pack battle with myself. So far, I'm so glad that I started to collect these series, and I'm also even much more happier that I found out that they are an official series that do have the Naruto license and brand behind them. Maybe one day it'd be awesome to see the Naruto card series revive in the US. We'll see sometime in the future. I'll tell you, I'll be the first one to cover it if something like that ever does happen. All right, there we have it. There is our first OR card for the day. This is gonna be our fourth hit for the pack as well. As I mentioned, those OR cards are much more dynamic and action-packed the way they bring them to life. I know it's just Choji, but still an awesome looking card nonetheless. There is one OR card in this set that I'm really after. It is gonna be of Saratobi, the third Hokage, and Monkey King Enma. So that ended up being no more hits in the pack. I ended up skipping all the rest of the packs, and this is gonna be the last section for this first box. So with the pools being four for this box, that's a nice, perfectly even amount. Again, you can get three to five different pools from your boxes. We'll do a quick recap before we jump into the rest of the boxes. Got that glorious OR Choji, our UR Minato, and UR Hinata with our AR Jiraiya. As I do for most of my videos, we're gonna go ahead and whip out the playmat, my favorite one that I have of all, the Jinchuriki. Isn't this thing glorious looking? So for our cards, as I mentioned, here is the rarest one that we pulled. I'm gonna go ahead and sit it in the back and we'll take a very close up look at it at the end as we work through these boxes. I'm curious after you see it, if you think, was it all worth it? Was it worth opening up this many boxes? So box number two and number three, here we go, side by side. The format for these is gonna look like we're gonna go through all of the SSRs that were pulled all throughout the box so you can see which ones are available there. And then we'll go into our other rare cards that were included for the boxes. Hey, on the left, there is our AR Naruto. There's a UR Kimimaro, UR Naruto from the last Sasuke. And then we have our Sasuke right there as well. OR Donzo. Got that gorgeous look in May, and then we have OR Datara and our SP Kakashi on, on the left. Very good pulls for these boxes. As you can see, the left side had five different hits overall. Usually when you have an SP card like that Kakashi, that's the time when you're gonna actually have five hits in the box because those are like an extra or free pull in the whole box. Hey, it's a nice looking Sasuke on the right. Man, look at that KCM Naruto. See, even some of the SSRs are super clean. We have a double Hinata UR going on. There's another Minato as well. And then, ooh, OR Guren, I think it is. Guren from one of those filler type episodes. Oh, a young Tsunade OR. That's really nice looking. For those who are looking into wanting to collect the cards or are already currently collecting the cards, I started a Facebook group recently for people to gather together, join, share your pulls, share information about the card series itself so we can all learn, grow, and enjoy this together. I'll put a link in the description, but you can also search it up on Facebook as well if you did want to look that up. All right, busting open boxes number six and number seven. Very cool looking younger Tsunade there. Hey, and then Kakuro as well. That's a nice looking UR Gara on our left. Got a Sasuke duplicate Jiraiya there. Yo, look at that OR Konohamaru. Oh my gosh, Aruka as well. Rock Lee back to back, amazing looking ones. Obito, and then an SP for Hinata, and then an SP for Kakashi. Not gonna lie, those are some fiery heat boxes right there, pulling two SPs in two different boxes. Those are definitely not as common. Probably one in every three boxes, you'll have an opportunity to pull something like an SP card. Man, that is a clean looking Itachi. Again, you get some awesome looking SSRs in there. That's Sasuke as well. Jeez, nice looking. A dupe for Hinata again, a dupe Naruto, and then, oh, Orochimaru, and then, oh, yes! There's that OR Sarutobi I was talking about with Monkey King Enma, Obito, and another young Tsunade. With nine boxes down, six to go, I wanted to mention I will be live streaming on the app Whatnot tomorrow at 9 p.m. If you haven't already, download the app with the link in the description and also follow me on there. I plan to open up these six booster boxes live, which is going to be a tier two and three boxes. Very much looking forward to doing this. I have people message me often asking where to buy these packs from, and it'll be a fun experience to be able to live stream to sell them to you if you're looking for them, or if you want to just tune in and watch the live stream as well, you can do that and just enjoy a good time hanging out and chat.
There's going to be tons of prizes and free giveaways, so do not miss this. Download the app and check me out on there. I look forward to seeing everyone on Monday night. Got some really nice dupes going on right here. And then we have, oh, some more OR duplicates as well. Ooh, Tsunade AR. That's the first time we pulled her so far. That's awesome. And without delay, we're going to jump right into boxes number 12 and 13. And while we're opening this box, if you're enjoying the content today, be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can enjoy more on a regular basis. I do unbox some cool collectibles and statues regularly. And also, if you're a subscriber and you're tuning in, be sure to hit that like button on the video. It does help out a lot. Thank you. So at this point, again, we've opened up 12 and 13 boxes. So we're going to be seeing a lot of different duplicates here. There is a certain cap and limit to, you know, cards that you can receive in a specific set. And after 12 or 13 boxes, you're pretty much exhausting most of that. Still, though, awesome Sasuke and awesome SP version of the Anbu Kakashi boxes. 14 and 15. Here we go. Still unbelievable to me that it took 15 boxes to pull that really rare CR card that we'll be looking at directly afterwards. But hey, you know, I was committed. I wanted to see it happen. And thankfully, it did happen in that very last box. Not a huge fan of Konohamaru, but that OR is so clean looking. Same with the Rock Lee one as well. I'm probably going to pair that up with one of my statues of Rock Lee. Hey, yo, that's Sage Mode, you are. Gee, and the AR Gar coming in clutch. That's the last one we needed. You are on Buitachi as well. All right, so quick recap on everything that we pulled for our UR section. We have four Hinatas. We saw her a lot. Three Sasuke's. We have two Kimimaros, two Kibas, two Naruto's from the last, two Minato's. And we had that individual Gar that we pulled at the end there. And also the Sage Mode Naruto and the on Buitachi. In the background are some statues that I do showcase, and here are our ORs. We have four Maze that we pulled, three Data is there, three Chojis as well as three different Gurens, two Konohamaru's, and also our young Tsunade. Then we have the two Rock Lees, and then Danzos as well. And I believe our last set of two is gonna be this Obito. And we pulled this individual single variation of an OR Obito. We have Aruka, such an awesome looking one, and my favorite of the lot is Saratobi and Monkey King Enma. Believe it or not, five AR Naruto's were pulled in there. And then we have two Sasuke's, two Orochimaru's as well. I believe you have two Jiraiya's too. And then the individual one for Tsunade and Gara were pulled. And for our SPs, we had four pulls, three being Kakashi and one being Hinata. So four out of 15 boxes had these. And now on to the main event that I promised you, the one card that was pulled out of all 15 boxes in the last, we have Anbu Kakashi. We opened 2,250 cards individually, so it feels extremely rare to be able to hold this card. On the bottom left, we'll see some of his ninja dogs in a black outline. I believe Uhei's down there. And then as we move up, all sorts of different Shidori. Then we have the Sharingan behind him. Really cool. We'll crack it open, take a much closer look. My gosh, the foiling on this looks legendary. I look forward to seeing everybody on the Facebook group who's going to be collecting, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, I will see you in the next. Do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.